Here we are for sale, our 2019 on a 19-plate Ford Transit Custom. This is the 300 model, I mean it's got a 3-ton gross vehicle weight. This one has got the 2-litre EcoBlue diesel Euro 6 engine producing 130 PS, roughly 130 brake horsepower. This is the limited long wheelbase panel van finished in frozen white. And what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around, I'll show you the spec that you get on a Transit Custom Limited of this age. Of course, you can see there's a fantastic styling pack on here. And there's also a really nice list of optional extras on this particular example, so stick around to see all of those. There's also um, service history, so we'll be running through the service history as well, and as they having a really good look at the condition um, seeing as it is currently available for sale at the time of recording. So first thing to note on this particular example, if you've come to this video via one of our uh, adverts on one of the many advertising platforms such as Autotrader etc, there is no VAT to pay on this particular, uh, particular van. Previous owner was not VAT registered so it does not pass on from there. Looking here then at the rear of the vehicle, we can see that this one is specced with rear barn doors. So barn doors are two doors which open like so. The other option which you can get is a tailgate, which is one door which opens up. Quite a rare thing to find that, but as I say, this one has got the rear barn doors. Very, very practical option. A Limited comes with a number of elements which come colour coded. That includes the bumpers, so the rear bumper, the door handles all around, the trims here down the uh, side of the vehicle, wing mirror caps and this little trim here above the rear number plate. Now let's start to have a look at some of the things which have been added then. So you can see that we've got a nice uh, rear spoiler there on the rear barn doors. While we're up there as well, we can also see that we've got a nice set of roof bars as well and some other bits here which I'll talk you through in just a second. In terms of condition here then, at the rear of the vehicle, we can start to have a look at some of the reflections. It's looking in lovely, lovely order. Tiny little mark there on just on top of the door handle just above my finger just there otherwise looking really really clean and tidy and i can just see very low down here there's a little hairline mark just let's say low down there by my finger but say, right at the bottom of the door we will touch that in just to do it just to improve it slightly uh, but as I say, worth mentioning that. But also while we're down here, we can talk about the first factory optional extra, and that is the reversing camera. Lovely to see that on a Transit Custom. We've also got rear parking sensors, which come as standard on the nice color-coded rear bumper, and they all come with this nice sort of hard-wearing plastic on top of the bumper, because of course it's a high volume area. If we open up the rear doors, then we can start to have a look inside the rear here, and this is absolutely stunning in the back of here. We've got this little yellow arm, give that a pull, that clips into place there against the rear doors and that allows you to open the doors right out to its full 180 degree position. Now it is very windy today so that may uh, shut from there. But this gives you maximum accessibility into the back of the vehicle. You can just lock it in place like that as well at 90 degrees or as I say you can pull that and do exactly the same with the other door. Having a look in the back of here then, brand new ply lining throughout the rear of the vehicle, and we do this on the vast majority of panel vans that we get in stock. You'll see that if you um, are used to the sorts of vehicles that we sell. This offers fantastic protection inside the vehicle because, of course, if you've got cargo moving around in here as you're driving, it's not going to cause a nasty outward dent in the side of the van. Full rear door protection as well. Some ply lining is just a sort of a panel there and a panel there. We like to do a full door, I say, just to give maximum protection. That's exactly what ply lining is there to do. On a limited model, then, you get this nice hard wearing plastic floor. You can see it's in fantastic order on this particular example. Same with the bulkhead as well. That bulkhead is absolutely spot on. It's so common to see those uh, sort of dented and things. That is looking absolutely lovely. And this brings me on to another factory optional extra then, and that is the LED load lights in the back of the van. Not an expensive optional extra that, but makes a big, big difference in lower light conditions. So you've got plenty of tie down points here in the back of the vehicle as well if you want to tie your items down in the back. If we continue then to go around the outside of the vehicle, we'll continue here firstly down the driver's side and have a look at the reflections looking for any dents or marks or anything like that and hopefully as you can see and i'm having a look at the same time as you here just to see if there's anything that i can spot because i will gladly point it out to you i'd rather show you on the video than someone travel from across the country as we do a lot of times so we don't want, uh, as I say, you to have a wasted journey. So I'll show you anything which I can see. There's the slightest little ripple just up here. And that can sometimes actually be from the inner strength brace there. 
which is uh, quite sort of pretty much as they come from factory but I can just about see that in the side of the vehicle there it's not going to make any uh, any sort of difference but I say otherwise looking really really clean and tidy nice set of sidebars on the vehicle as well which really tie in with a lot of the other styling and we've got this fantastic set of 18 inch gloss black alloy wheels as well so the 18s we've there's two different types of wheels that we generally put on vans either 18s or 20s the 18s maybe offer a little bit more practicality uh, still look very very nice indeed especially on a white van like this I think the gloss black looks absolutely stunning and of course ties in with the bars as well as I say just maybe offers a touch more practicality if we open up the driver's door then we can start to have a look inside here so the step is in lovely order tiny bit of wear just there to the protective strip that's exactly why Ford put that there is because people rub their foot on it as they're getting in and out of the vehicles so you can see that's done its job this is as I say the protect the, the correct position there of the toolkit it's behind that door just there if we look at the floor then we can see that we've got the proper rubber transit over mats in here uh, lovely condition really really has been well looked after looking at the driver's seat again no excessive wear here to the edge of the uh, driver's seat you've got height adjustability there the, uh, of the driver's seat and that is what they call thigh adjustment adjustment there at the front we've got a driver's armrest which you can set to your desired height on a ratchet and I say otherwise have a look at that seat very very clean and tidy if we look at the driver's door card again it's very common to see these sort of marked um, from as a people hitting them with their elbow or keys or whatever it may be but this is looking really clean and if we look at on top here we've got the electric windows and electric folding mirrors that's how those are operated there just by pulling on that dial back towards you like that nice firm pull on that auto activated lights and auto activated wipers on this vehicle you can see that we have got two full remote keys that's the original flip key with the three buttons on it if we move the, the steering straight so you can see on the left hand side here we've got your cruise control underneath that then the volume for the radio and on the right hand side then you've got your onboard computer controls and you can also answer and hang up the phone just there the mileage 44,930 miles and you can see it's all idling correctly no warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard up on top of the dashboard then there's a USB point and a 12 volt socket in there you probably can't see that with a light on the camera but plenty of storage up on top of there as well if I just quickly jump inside we can have a look at a bit more of the spec inside here because there are some more factory um, factory extras to look at here so not only have we got the sync 3 screen sorry let me just shut that door we've got the sync 3 screen which comes as standard in these this particular one has got the factory extra of having sat nav uh, which is certainly uh, very very useful maybe you haven't got your phone at hand uh, as I say very very useful to have the satellite navigation of course you can connect your um, your phone to this via Bluetooth as well you've got Apple CarPlay Android Auto and uh, which is done by either of the USB ports uh, so you've got DAB radio on here and say Bluetooth phone prep as well and if we put the vehicle into reverse that is where your rear camera is of course displayed if we look down below that then we've got the air conditioning he did windscreen he did wing mirrors and he did front seats all of that comes completely as standard and it's a usb port and a 12 volt socket just there as well while we're inside i'd like to show you the service history so we have got it's a local a locally owned vehicle from new so we can see there was two previous ford uh, services have been carried out in our local ford dealership most recently on the the 4th of february 23 and that was at 44,881 miles. So very, very recently, uh, maybe not even 50 miles ago, 51 miles ago. So uh, very, very recently done there with the Ford dealership. And I say lovely to see that stamped in the service book. Now another factory optional extra, which this one has, is very difficult to show you on camera, but just below the handbrake down there, if I jump out, it might be easier to jump out and show you. But this one has got, the 230 volt power inverter if I put the seat back there and move the camera around to the side there we go you can just about see it there so that little flap opens up and there is a three pin socket underneath there 230 volts uh, from the power inverter so very very nice to see that as well so the list of extras on this fan I say you've got satellite navigation you've got the 230 volt power converter rear camera and LED load lights in the back as well so a, a nice selection 
on this particular one. Don't see that very often, especially on a long wheelbase with no VAT as well. Moving around, around to the front of the vehicle then, the Limited does come with these lovely headlights which gives you the LED daytime running light around the outside. This one has got the nice Ford trail grille fitted and also a front splitter as well. In terms of condition here at the front of the vehicle, tiny little stone chip just there above my finger on the edge of the bonnet. Um, otherwise, not a huge amount to fault it on. Again, tiny, tiny little stone chips here or there to the front end, as you would expect really with 40 uh, odd thousand miles. Front fog lights come as standard. These also act as cornering lights as you're going around corners and you've got front parking sensors as well. Absolutely lovely condition really at the front there. And finally then, moving down the passenger side here before we finish, I don't want to keep you for too long. We've got, I say, those lovely 18 inch gloss black alloy wheels, brand new with brand new tires and fantastic condition again down the passenger side. Just having a look as they, these are the sorts of angles we can't show you very well in photographs. It's always nice to get a gauge of just what the van is looking like, but very, very clean and tidy. If we open up the passenger door then, the side loading door, this gives you another aspect of the load space from this side. We can also have a closer look at the bulkhead as well. And you have got the load through hatch down here as well. So if you open that up, that allows you to load longer items underneath the passenger seats. Very nice to see that. Very, very handy that. If we open up the passenger door, lovely condition there of the step. If we look in the front as well, we've got the, again, the over mats there as well to protect the floor. Looking at the passenger seats from this angle, no rips, tears, cigarette burns, anything like that. You can flip this up to give you some access underneath. We always add an extra wheel brace in there as well to if you were to have a puncture, you can get the get the wheels off because they're a slightly different size wheel nut from what would be on as standard. So just to summarize this particular vehicle then, 2019 on a 19 plate, it's a Novat Transit Custom, full transit custom, it's the 300 model, so three ton gross vehicle weight, long wheelbase, limited panel van, 130 PS from that two liter Eco Blue diesel engine, six speed manual gearbox, Finished in frozen white, absolutely fantastic condition. Ford service history, lovely list of factory extras as uh, we've explained. And of course the full styling kit as well, which has been added. If you'd like to see the full advert of this vehicle, please head over to our website, which is bridgeendvans.co.uk. This is where you'll find the photography, the price, and the description of the vehicle. And we will also welcome inquiries there on either of the numbers listed at the bottom of the sign. Remember that we can offer delivery nationwide and we can also take cars or vans in part exchange and arrange finance at very competitive rates. Thank you very much for watching.